subscribe now. EU debates. Well, yes. Yes, it took a long time. It took uh, three weeks and uh, intense weekends, meetings on Sunday. But finally, yes, we got an agreement that allows us to uh, stop buying by the end of the year 90% of the oil that we are buying to the Russia today. So it's a, it's a big step forward. When are you going Not 100%, but it's an important amount. When are you going to reach actual sanctions? What day? This week? To reach? This week you're going to reach the sanctions to put them in place? Yes, the Council will, uh, will meet and by written procedure will approve the legislative acts that uh, implement the political decision that the leaders took yesterday. What corridors are you considering for the grain exports from Russia, uh, from Ukraine, sorry? Uh, what uh, yeah. talks did you have? Uh, how is Turkey involved in this? Well, uh, Turkey could be involved on, on the sea because <laughs> there is no land corridor from Ukraine. Uh, a land corridor to Romania and Bulgaria, to the Black Sea coast. You can imagine another corridor to Poland, to the Baltic. Someone has been talking about another corridor to Belarus, but this engage uh, changing in the sanctions, which is not in the table. And finally, is the maritime way opening Odessa, but this will require demining the waters and someone to ensure the navigation of this water in order not to be used as opportunity by the Russian Navy to attack Odessa. It will require to mobilize Navy capacities, military capacities, and the European Union, if there is an agreement, if there is an agreement in the framework of the United Nations, would be ready to participate. And Turkey also has shown its readiness to participate. The most efficient way for sure would be to open the sea but it has a lot of difficulties. Thank you.